Hi everybody, uh, Mike Stevenson here at uh, from Turbo Three Sixty, not the in uh, at the Nordic integration. So, it's good to have a chat with a friend here. Um, so I've grabbed Kent in the corridor. Um, he's been a busy man this week because everybody's talking about his sessions, um, and I wanted to kind of have a chat with him about a couple of things. So. Kent, the conversations changing about integration is the theme I get from speaking to people in the audience this week. Um, talk to me about what that means from your side. Like, how are we how are we going to be doing integration different in terms of engagement with customers? Yeah, and I think historically, unfortunately, uh, I think when we talk about or think about integration, it often comes across as, oh, this is infrastructure. This is kind of a database. Yeah. And, you know, there's messages going back and forth and a bunch of mechanics. And it's super tied to the business process. But I feel like oftentimes integration projects or teams are kind of engaged second to last. Unfortunately, I think the reporting folks are usually last. But, you know, it sort of takes away from sort of the opportunities that sort of can take place as a way of integrating systems and actually building new experiences mm. on top of them. And I do think as we sort of enter this new chapter of AI and agentic AI, I think the narrative changes a little bit where we have the opportunity to become closer to the solution by introducing AI, but also be more being more focused from a business perspective on what what's involved in that. And how do we actually go solve for the business process? Because we may not have that ERP, that CRM, that work order management system that the CIO just bought, it might be more of like, hey, how do we go ahead and improve a particular business process? And how do we actually use AI and integration to actually build a new experience on top of those existing platforms? So it's kind of, there's very much an element of getting more from the assets you've already got as well, rather than having to replace them and spend them before. I think so, because yeah. I think if we think about what we've built historically, we've built a lot of plumbing. Mm -hmm. And that includes APIs, that includes data feeds, whatever you want to call them, using connectors, etc. We've got this underlying platform, and it's now just a matter of like, how do we go ahead and leverage it and do it in different ways that we may not have thought about before? Yeah, and I think I think that idea of it, it's a platform has always been great, but been the challenge, isn't it? People people outside of IT don't understand the platform. But now it's a tangible thing that you can interact with. You know, I, I think the mm -hmm. you know the conversational agents kind of a really game changer one for me because you know that that ability to just go and chat directly with your logic app means I don't need to build a UI anymore. And, yeah, who would have thought about that? You know, hey, a few years like, ago, right? Yeah. we've always had HTTP trigger, but it was yeah. a single turn operation. Yeah, and yeah. even some of the demos we've showed, like the last say year. Yeah. I've kind of been the single turn, like, hey, I can get some value from AI, yeah. but it's once you get the multi-turn, yeah. that's when sort of the opportunities really start to emerge. It's like the whole drop a file in a folder and it comes out in another folder looking like a different file. But now, <laughs> you know, from what you were saying for Integrate, if we've got a Teams connector, actually your agent in a day can end up with a Teams inter interface for users integrating into the line of business systems, which is kind of, that, that's huge innovation power, isn't it? Yeah, and what's funny about the team thing is like that's been around for like several years. Yeah. It was just sort of a mat, like having this scenario that sort of embraces it. Yeah. Um, you know, we're in human in the loop. That's that's obviously sort of a, a good one where you can now pause the business process while you get feedback or approvals from a business stakeholder and then basically whoop, pick up and sort of resume with the business process as well. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, no, thanks for having me.